Quality Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use strokes as a pattern swatch and combine it with images and use an image trace to turn it into an illustration. Now, first thing to do, I've just got some uh, rectangles which I'm going to be using as my swatch and just select there, you can just see they're just like blue, green and different stroke and stroke weights. Now, once you've actually done that, I can then go into object and pattern and make and I've done some already earlier but I'm just going to quickly show you. so basically what you can do you can just rotate those you can apply effects such as roughen so you can just go to effect roughen or obviously if you want to actually use it effect distort transform and roughen but I'm not going to do that in this one so right once you've actually done that you've decided that you're happy with that pattern you can say save it and then I'm just going to cancel now. Then I get rid of those. I'm going to bring in an image by file a place. And once it comes up, right, drag that in. So once it's in, and I'm just going to resize it because it always brings it in in a fairly small size for some weird reason. Right, now, got that. What you can do then is go to image trace and I'm going to go for black and white. I'm going to move the threshold down a little bit and quickly apply the trace. I'm not going to expand it or anything. I'm just going to leave it as is. So you've got that. And now what you can do is remove that. Now I don't want that anymore. Just go over here to the appearance. And let's say if you haven't got those, it's just appearance, image trace there and swatches. And you can say add fill, add new fill. To actually get the hair back again, I'm just going to go to just select one of the yeah, well, that one, one of the early ones I created. Very similar approach as the previous one I just showed you. Now you can also use the opacity, so I'm just going to go to lighten, so it actually just applies it to the hair. And now if you want to actually create more than just one fill, you can actually do things. So I'm just going to just select that line. And go over the right side and duplicate item. And what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to go to object, transform, and scale. Don't want to actually obviously scale the whole thing because it just sort of re re reduces it down. So I'm just going to go for the transform patterns. So that's the key. And you can see those lines are very thinner now, obviously at 30%. You can actually see those lines through that. And of course, you can do that three, four, five, ten times. Well, however many times you want to you can maybe rotate them move them etc now if you also want to bring in the to add it to a face and i'm going to use a different one so next thing i'm just going to select that one just make certain they're all lighten so lighten and lighten because what i want to do next is make one darken so just going to duplicate item again and i'm just going to go for that one opacity and Darken, and you can see the lines there. You just see, and of course you can modify it. You can go and select one of those. One while you're still selecting that line, so I'm just going to go back there. Just make certain you select it, and then you can just go click. Uh, obviously, depending on the actual design. Oh, there's that one. So you can see it's a bit clearer. But of course, you could go for like maybe curved lines and. Not just obviously the roughened ones, I've just gone for roughened ones with rotate. And again, like I say, roughened there, you can see different roughened lines. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest.